A microburst, as we mentioned, did in fact hit this area, and that's why the damage is so bad. I want you to take a look at this behind me. These were two homes here, two story homes. One completely leveled, the other one so badly destroyed. It's kind of hard to see all of the damage here, so I want you to take a look at some of the daytime video of this area. This new housing development is going up right with police, so he's not giving any information about the suspect, but we do know this. The suspect, white man, 25 to 35 years old, between 5'6 and 5'10. And just moments ago, I also want to mention Beth Chapman, Dog the Bounty Hunter's wife. She tweeted me saying that uh, she's working on the case, and it is another tragedy. Two more men gave their lives to this job. So again, another sad day for bounty hunters, the community, and of course, the families. Bernie who Sanders is expected to show up for his rally here at 7 o'clock. And as you can see, take a look behind me. You can see people gathering all ready for his rally. We hear there could be up to 5,000 people here tonight. The gates open at 7 p.m. It's free. It's on first come, first serve basis. Good morning. Look at this beautiful view, right? Phoenix would be the perfect city. So here is what's happening. The committee is sending out letters to 35 cities, and the New York Times is reporting that Phoenix is on that list. Ricky Mitchell joins me live now. And Ricky, you actually talked to a neighbor who lives right next door. This neighbor called police at 4 o'clock in the morning when he got a knock at the door from these girls saying, help. Time magazine is known for its covers, known for them being controversial. And now it's this picture. I want you to see it. It shows a little boy, and it is here. U.S. Airways Center is about a block away from here, but this is Super Bowl Central. Take a look. This is several blocks of downtown Phoenix blocked off for interactive games and displays dollars. In the meantime, though, I'm going to bring in sports director Jason Barr here. And Jason, uh, because of Deflategate, which has been a big story in the sure. last couple of days, another big storyline has actually been overshadowed. Yeah, you know, it's I also want you to take a look at something interesting. Look at this trash can. This thing is heavy. It is flipped upside down here. So as I mentioned, this is just a complete mess. And you can tell that a microburst hit this area because just one mile west of here, no damage at all, guys. Back to you.